Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen, Lori Masterton, of course, with Lori's Cafe, is back with us, and we have a super exciting announcement for everyone. This is huge. It is huge, and today, this is officially the right day to announce this. So tell me about it. What do we have? <clears throat> this is my new cookbook. It's called The Fresh Honey Cookbook, 84 Recipes from a Beekeeper's Kitchen. It fe it's a, it's a year-long um, it, it has 12 chapters. Each chapter features a different honey varietal. Some of them are from here, some are from, not from here. All the recipes in the book either use honey or a, a main ingredient that would not exist without honeybees. For instance, peaches. Okay, and this recipe, can we find this in the cookbook? Mm, no, you have to come to Carolina Kitchen for it. Ah, all right. This is an exclusive. This is a sneak peek of yeah. things that you might find similar things in the cookbook. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so anything that grows on a tree with a stone in it, like stone fruit, would not exist without honeybees. No oh. apples, oranges, peaches, plums, uh, pears, grapefruit, none of that. So it would be a pretty boring life without, <laughs> without that. the bees. So easy. Um, Peach is super in season look at right this. now. Yeah, absolutely. I don't like to get a whole lot of things dirty, so I didn't even dirty the cutting board on this one. Um, these peaches are perfect. So you sliced it one way and then flipped it the other way. Yep, just okay. like an Look at that. around the equator and then on the longitudinal lines of the globe. Okay. And so, part one. Part two, we'll, we'll add just a little bit of fresh cilantro. Open this for me because your hands are not so greasy. Slick. Yeah. And then yes. you're going to use lime. Cilantro Ooh. I love. Yep. And lime, a little bit of lime zest. So have one of these fancy little grater things. If you don't have a grater, you can just do it with a knife. Okay. But smell that. I know, it smells so I mean, good. That, that just says salsa to me. And then do this, and then it'll make it juicier. And we'll give it some fresh lime juice. And that's also going to help that peach from turning, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. And a little bit of, just a little bit of fresh cilantro. Which you can of, easily find at your local grocery Absolutely. store. I buy it all of the time yeah. and put it in like everything. And then I, um, then you just, I have to get my salt and pepper. I'm sorry, okay. I left it salt over Salt and here. pepper. I will While she's right. grabbing that, let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, wls.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That, of course, is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville 28803. She's back with the salt and pepper. And I'm going to put a little tiny bit of my honey in there, too. You can open that up because I won't be able to. Yum. And again, this is right out of Lori's this yard. This is fresh from the hive. Amazing. Um, isn't that beautiful? Come on now. I have, usually I have a necklace on, but I don't have it today. But in a bee's life, it makes about four milliliters of honey in its whole life, or a twelfth of a teaspoon. So each lend a little individual bee. Yeah. So right now I've got the life work of probably three bees. All right. That looks amazing. Very simple. Yep. All right, Lori, thanks so much. You're welcome. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina kitchen.